Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpha King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K23 video. Today I'm going to be switching things up. Today I wanted to actually give you guys my first impressions of NBA 2K23. There has been a lot of tweets, a lot of Instagram DMs, a lot of TikTok DMs, a lot of Facebook Messenger messages. It's like everybody wants to know and even YouTube comments. People like, bro, is the game good? Bro, is the game worth playing? Bro, um, is it worth me paying 70, 100, 150? People want to know, is NBA 2K23 worth it? King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, King Kong. With 38 days left in season one of NBA 2K23, I can tell you guys right now that the game is worth buying but you're going to have to brace yourself for a lot of issues that you may run into. Now, the issues, I want to put those on front street because a lot of people don't really care about how good the game is unless they can stomach the problems. So the first initial problem is you will run into some blue screen issues. You will run into some freezing. This will drive you crazy. This will stop you from gaining fans my points in a uh, park it will stop you from gaining vc it will stop you from progressing your story a lot of these things that you do as far as main quests side quests weekly quests even daily quests they will stop you from progressing and what i mean that by that is i'm just going to show you guys right now if you go to quest here i am literally one game away or even two games away from literally getting othella out of office if you guys don't know who othella is you might want to go ahead and watch a couple of my streams i stream on twitch facebook gaming and youtube now also foundational thinking mindset i have to meet with somebody about percolate latte or whatever um also i want to meet j cole but i have to get through somebody named phd monk as well as I need to get my next ALR outfit, as well as a couple other things in 1500 VC by working with ALR and finishing my next game. But if you just simply can't go through the arena and play a game, that's a huge issue. That's right. My game just froze. Now, I'm going to let you guys know I'm, I'm clicking every button, you know, clicking every button. I can hit the PlayStation button, try to, you know, go to the city. You know, I could try to resume activity. Nothing happens. I am currently in a frozen place. I cannot get past this point. So as my first impression of 2K, the my career story is currently broken. And if you can't stomach not being able to progress through the story, then you might want to wait until all of this stuff is patched. Now you can follow 2K on Twitter and they'll probably let everyone know when a patch is out and stuff like that. Great, dandy. Now, second thing, for the last two and a half days, we had gotten an app called the My NBA 2K23 app. That is the app where you can go in and play the little card game. You can go in and scan your face. And for some reason, PlayStation, I'm not sure if it was a PlayStation issue, if it was a 2K sports issue. All I know is when you try to log in with your PlayStation account, you couldn't get in. But great thing happened today. They actually fixed the thing or the problem that was happening within the My NBA 2K23 app for PlayStation sign-ins. So that means that you guys can now sign in, scan your face, and me as well. Season prizes really don't, they really don't do anything for me anymore. Um, I've already been through one season, so I already know what to expect. Um, as far as the season events go, season events start on September 16th. That is literally this Friday. That means 2K gave us the whole weekend, gave us the 2K day, all of that without throwing events. We got mobile one coming up next. We got club 2K every Friday and we got two times rep in the wreck on the 24th. And we have the ruffles in the beginning of October. So 2K already gave us a whole month of content for two weekends on what we should be able to see. I think that's a, a W and I think in all honesty, if they keep this up month to month, that's going to be insane. XP coins. When I first got the game, I did pre-order the game and um, I also got a copy from 2K. So I received two 120 minute coins and I received a 60 minute and a 30 minute from the actual uh, season rewards. Okay. Uh, the next thing, the map. I talked to you guys about the map before, but what 
we didn't go over is how insane and how expandable the map can get. Now, trust me, if you look at the map, right, you can obviously see that right here is a whole nother park. It's something totally off to the side and it's called Hammond Park. This is something that you have to progress in my career story. I wish that I could. And when I do, you know, hopefully, you know, I'm gonna have a whole lot of fun in it. But this is a whole different park, a whole different storyline, right? Then you have this huge arena over here where, of course, you can see this is where, like, you know, you play games and stuff like that. But then there's also a court back here. You know what I mean? It's so many different small things. And also another court over here. It's a lot of different things for people to see in a court over here. You guys have to realize that the map is still huge. It's still big. But the thing about that is it's the fast travel system that makes the game better obviously if you guys look here once you're in this train station you can travel to any of these other train stations what i would say is as soon as you you know find out where you want to go that's when you go to the fast travel don't go inside the fast travel tunnel and then be like oh dang where was i supposed to go you know make sure you mark your quest or mark where you want to go like your waypoint or whatever and then go to the nearest train station from there so i think that that is a w um Another W, being able to spin the wheel. Of course, you guys see here, I'm a beast, right? And I can spin the wheel here. Vipers can spin the wheel over there. Wildcats can spin the wheel over there. And Knights can spin the wheel over there. But in everyone's residing parks, if I'm a person that always likes to load into the park, I can just spin the wheel at the park and not even have to come to the block. But since I'm more of a rec player, I live on a block. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it is. Now, another great thing we have something called leadership skills in the game and not a lot of people were talking about it simply because it's a my career thing and me you guys know i come from the my career scene i play my career i play my crew i play you know 3v3 black top i just you know as the game progressed i have played more but these general skill shots and, and um trailblazer skill slots is all dope like this that she stuff for one the requirement is to get um a total of 15 stats with a combination of everything and it gives boost to playmaking and post defense and gives a moderate boost to inside shooting mid-range shooting three-point shooting and perimeter defense another good thing about the game is your appearance right so of course you're gonna have to do the rebirth uh quest and that's to you know get your shirt taken off get a rebirth build everything like that i already made a video on that but being able to have something called vest they didn't call it jersey they called it vest but you could wear shirts under your vest you feel me and jackets on top of the vest all right so i hope you guys notice i have three different layers on right now that's a really big thing like if i quit my shirt off you guys see i take my shirt off also if i take the vest off i'm shirtless with a leather jacket under it all right and if i if i take the leather jacket off i just don't have anything on you feel what i'm saying but i know you guys are like bro why you got all this black lives matter stuff on you know shout out to the movement but one thing that these items give you is the free spirit so when i'm walking through the tunnel and they're taking pictures of me it's raising my free spirit just off the rip also my shoes and my bottoms are free spirit as well they're free like look at it look, look it tells you right here you know what i'm saying it's a set bonus if i got the shirt and the vintage sunglasses you feel what I'm saying? Like it's it's really it's really insane, bro. Also, the hat that I got on my head, <laughs> free spirit. Um, the face mask I got on, as well as the um, the orange lenses that I got from uh, who was that? Devin Booker. You know, gives me uh free spirit stuff. Um, also, like I said, you know the the arm sleeves. You know, plus you know I got the close shot stuff and everything like that from the awards bonus um what else is crazy oh certain shoes like i got these shoes i didn't even have to pay for them these is the air jordan threes og joints i didn't have to pay for them and they give me free spirit boost so it's pretty dope um also equipment um equipment now has boards four wheels and show off stuff for the the uh you know basketballs and stuff like that but animations is probably the biggest w just simply off a of jump shot creator this year jump shot creator this year is insane now i got three jump shots that you know i am currently cycling through i love the fourth ball brother jump shot right now um i can actually show you guys this one real quick you know what i mean um this one has an a plus 
release height, A plus release speed, a B minus defensive immunity, and a C minus time and impact. Now, I do have another jump shot that has A's and A minuses all over it, but I don't want to use that one just yet until I perfect this one. And this one I'm shooting about um, five for seven wide open. If I'm contested, I'm probably shooting maybe two or three for seven if I'm contested. And that's with the current Ball Brothers jump shot that I currently have on. Controller settings. Uh, this is really, really dope. 2K has actually gave us a shot time and release time within when we want to release for the cue that we see on screen. So that means that, you know, if mine's is always on early and obviously you guys, that's one another gripe I hate with 2K. Um, whenever you close that and come back in, it resets a bunch of stuff. It resets, you know, your shot meter resets, like all of this stuff resets for whatever the case may be. But like I was saying about the shot time and release time, you can choose where you physically want to see your cue and where you want to release it. It won't change the speed of the jump shot. It'll change what you see when it's time for you to release that button. Badges is another thing that slept on this year. The core badges is insane. So um, I only have one core badge equipped right now simply because I'm working on Chase Down Artist and I'm working on Challenger. If you guys know this, Challenger on Gold is going to take a little bit of time to get up there, but this is going to be my core badge. Um, I won't have any other core badge simply because it, and all my other tier threes don't go to seven. You know what I'm saying? They don't go to seven. So um, at the end of this uh, season, when I get level 39, I'm going to put a badge point here so that I can get more you know what I mean because I want to get clamps I want to get interceptor right I haven't played my um, my team I haven't played play now but essentially I'm I'm liking the game a lot park feels good um the green or die like thing is really really good I think that that will change as people get more badges then he got a 30 minute 2 XP coin fire but like I said the the game will probably change a little bit more as people keep getting more and more badges and stuff like that things will change as they core certain badges and get more badges i believe that whites will go in at a higher clip but they will never be anything like how they were in recent years we had a badge called sniper that literally let almost every white that a person with a 93 or higher shoot go in and I'm saying people was using role player percentage and didn't care about any of the penalty at all. But this year, you have to time your jump shot. And that literally creates the biggest skill gap in the game. If it's not green, it's out. And I love it because a lot of people think that shooting was just pushed to the forefront of 2K for so long that people just like, yo, I'm, I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being the best defender that I can and at the last second somebody could peek or you know what I mean get loose on a screen and just shoot a green three or even a white and they go in and a lot of locks a lot of defenders a lot of bigs stop playing the game because they're like bro you can't win against a shooter you just can't now that y'all see my child y'all seeing my challenger badge now my my challenger badge is crazy right now you know what I'm saying my my defensive challenger badge already we almost we almost coordinate on bronze and i just got it i just got it not too long ago you know what I'm saying like i just got it not too long ago so that's a really really big plus but i'm not going to keep you guys no longer man i want to thank you guys for watching i appreciate you guys for listening to my first impressions first impressions is i like the game so far but i am upset with a lot of things that are small that are broken that is stopping my my progress in my career other than that the game's a w a lot of people are online i know you guys see a lot of people standing around they probably just logged on trying to get their friends uh to get online as well as making sure they don't close up so that their settings don't get reset and i'm gonna leave that one there thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace you better be our pod, you better be shake Roll with Jay-Z and Bruce or get baked Right after the loss, your team got away You can't step foot in my pod